Buying a brand new car is awesome, isn't it? Here it is, all glossy and impeccable, waiting for you to hop behind the wheel. Ah, that new car smell. But the price tag on it still doesn't let you sleep at night, and that stinks. Especially since you know you could have bought a similar but used one at almost half the price. And it doesn't only concern cars, you know. Many secondhand things can cost a lot less while still being as good as new. Number 1. Clothes for special occasions Wedding day or prom night is something you look forward to impatiently. But is it really worth it to buy a brand new wedding dress Hmm. or a suit that you're definitely not going to wear on any other day? Celebration clothes are mainly bought for a single occasion other person, or from a store that specializes on selling secondhand clothing, is a really good idea. They'll cost you up to half as much, and you can be sure that they were only worn once, or even not worn at all. Why pay more for a thing that's basically new, right? Number 2. Kitchenware Stuff like cups, plates, or kitchen utensils can safely be bought from other people at a price up to 5 times lower than brand new ones would cost you. Think of restaurants, for example. You don't assume that all the wares you eat with are single-use there, do you? They get washed and reused, of course. So why not buy your own from another person then? Just make sure they're not cracked or chipped. Harmful bacteria can find their way inside those cracks. Number 3. Bicycles Bikes are among those things that people buy to be more active, but soon forget about. And since they usually take lots of space, their owners could just be happy to get rid of them at a very reasonable price. You can easily find an almost unused bike on the internet at half its original cost. All just because it's not brand new any longer. 4. Sports Equipment Many people would gladly sell their old treadmills, barbells, and whatnot with a very low price tag. Who wants a constant reminder of their own lack of willpower, right? Such things are almost always in good condition, and you can safely buy them from another person. This is especially handy when you're not sure yet if you're going to use this equipment regularly, and so you don't want to cough Hmm. up a hefty sum for a brand new pair of skis. 5. Inflatable mattresses These goodies are cozy when you've just moved your house and don't yet have a real bed. You simply inflate this big guy and enjoy your night's sleep. It's easy to wash and take care of, so you can be sure that after a thorough cleaning, a secondhand inflatable mattress will serve you as nicely as it did its previous owner. And that at half the price they paid for it. Good bargain if you ask me. 6. Fashion Jewelry Vintage fashion jewelry items can sometimes cost as much as the real thing, and many stores know this very well. So if you're looking for some really cool bling-bling, your best shot would be websites like Craigslist and such. People often sell awesome fashion jewelry for literally pennies, while at an official store, it could cost a fortune. Now, Don't be in a hurry to buy real jewelry from someone else, though. If it has precious stones, you can never be sure they're not fake. Only a professional can tell you whether that diamond ring really has a diamond or if it's just an expensive piece of glass. Number 7. Musical instruments Older instruments that have some history can have better sounds than new ones, while their price tag is often significantly lower. On top of that, vintage musical instruments are eagerly bought and sold by collectors. So who knows? Maybe your old guitar will find its buyer 10 years from now, and you'll become amazingly rich. (laughs) Anyway, in most cases, it's safe to buy secondhand instruments if they're in good Hmm. overall condition. Just make sure you check it before paying the money. 8. Kid Stuff Strollers, onesies, toys, high chairs – all these things become unneeded all too soon while still in almost pristine condition. Babies grow fast. And young parents often buy too much stuff for their little ones, so they don't even know where to put it. If you have a baby of your own, you can easily find lots of things for them online at a price of a nickel a bunch, or even get them for free. All you need do is check whether the goods you're buying are in good shape and wash them really well. After all, safety first. 9. Cars 
A car fresh from the showroom looks pretty, and you can take pride in being its very first owner. But you should know that its price tag is cut by almost 20% as soon as it leaves the dealer. Many dealerships sell second-hand cars at lower prices too, and they still have the manufacturer's warranty, so you don't lose a thing. Also, when buying a brand new car, you might be up for a surprise. Manufacturers could have changed the engine in this year's edition, for example, which could have more problems. If you buy a car from someone else, you'll avoid such trouble. 10. Furniture Finding a new quality wardrobe or desk at a reasonable price can be a real headache. Furniture is never cheap, so you'll have to try your best to find an option that won't make a hole in your pocket. Or you can search online and find an item that's been used gently and looks great while having a tempting price tag. Good furniture serves a long time, so you can be sure that chest of drawers will stay with you for many years to come. 11. Tools Same as with sports gear, there are people who buy a completely new set of tools for a single task and then never use it again. So, if you need a hammer or a wrench for a similar purpose, don't rush to buy new. You can save a small fortune by purchasing what others don't need already at a fraction of the original cost. And as an added bonus, after you've finished with whatever it is you've been doing, you can resell it to someone else, helping both them and yourself. 12. Books A book from a bookstore, especially a hardcover, can cost a crazy amount of money. If you're not keen on e-readers and like to hold a real thing in your hands, then the cheapest way to do so is buy the book you want from someone else. It won't have that crisp feeling the books from stores have, of course. But hey, you're buying it for its contents, aren't you? 13. Larger appliances Things like a fridge or a stove are super expensive, and for a reason. They're made to last you a good part of your life. And they serve you well for many years until you decide to renovate your home. At this point, you'll probably not want to simply throw away your trusty washing machine. After all, it's still working fine. So why waste a good appliance? That's how most people who sell such things online reason. And that's exactly why you can stop worrying about buying used home appliances. In most cases, they're almost as good as new and only need some adjusting at worst. 14. Homes No, I'm not kidding. Buying a new home, be it a house or an apartment, is always accompanied by huge expenses. When you purchase a new place, it's empty and needs at least some finishing more often than not. It's especially true for apartments, which don't even have the basic stuff, such as floor covering. At the same time, if you purchase an apartment from someone else, you'll have the space that another person lived in, and so you'll only have to move your belongings there. And if you don't like the style of your new home, you can take your sweet time improving it while still living there comfortably. Well, what about you? What would you rather buy secondhand than brand new? Let me know down in the comments. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. <laughs> we have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out.